<laughs> Hi, y'all. We decided to make this video, Sonia and I, with all your household essentials. And this is how we're going to teach you how to do some myofascial release. Uh, well, those are, those are COVID household essentials. <laughs> COVID essentials. <laughs> this is interchangeable for gin, tequila, mm, mm. rum, liquid. Liquid. I, that says whiskey, my love. Whiskey. And this is whiskey. Rum. Whiskey, yeah. <laughs> but it is empty, just letting y'all know. Yeah. Take your own risk. You're going to have it full. So um, we decided to coach basically some um, therapy, right? Some self-release uh, of tight muscles and activation using household items because I was watching all these people do these videos with stuff that most people just don't necessarily have a hoard of gym equipment in their house. Some people do. Yeah. So we're going to coach um, with, uh, with these items. <laughs> Sarah, do you want to explain what, what the coffee mug is? Because it's kind of a nice hack. Yes. So if you have a standard 16, 12 ounce coffee mug at home, just fill it up with ice and put it in your freezer right? and then take it out cold to do this. Yeah. Um, and we'll coach you through what the knife is for. You could definitely maybe take some shots while we're doing this. Okay. Probably wish we had done that before doing this. But, uh, <laughs> never too late. Never too late. It's like it's like twelve. Here, I'm gonna take a picture of you. It's twelve p.m. So cute. These are my these are my household essential <laughs> items, including Sarah's face. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna start with low back pain. Yes. Right. People are sitting a lot. Um. So typically, when we're in clinic, how we would start doing this is. Um, thinking about opening up the front of the hips and the front of the pelvis so that we can give room for the back to come off of a spasm or off of stretch. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Sarah, can you show everybody, uh, <laughs> like, can you get on your knees? No. <laughs> can you, no. Can you show everybody where the, the psoas, like what I mean by hip flexors, show everybody where that is. Yes. Okay, so hip flexors, let me move the vodka. Um, hip flexors right through here. So psoas and iliacus runs all the way from here, all the way up to the lower lumbar. Yes. So hip flexors are not one muscle. People come in a lot and they say, uh, it's my hip flexor. The proper is hip flexors, the uh, there's an S. So essentially it's a muscle that moves the flexor. So the big one that, that is um, the biggest butthole is usually your psoas. You want to point to, to where that is anteriorly at least. So again, just getting you guys some better lighting. Psoas running right through here. That's kind of dark, love. Oh. Yeah. So, there you go. Maybe your pants are dark. So psoas is anterior there. Here, Sarah will, will point. There, that's good, sweetheart. Yeah. Perfect lighting. So Perfect. anterior. Yeah, keep scooching back. So it's going to come up, 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 up. Um, and it actually runs sort of right um, next to where the diaphragm attaches. So it comes up, up, up towards the 10th and 12th rib and then wraps around your body mm -hmm. and then comes all the way down in towards the, oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> it is anatomy. So, and then the sweater comes off. All you right. Ready? So, <laughs> I was ready. I was born ready. Right. Right. Some of that whiskey. So it goes posterior. So point posterior where it wraps, babes, and then there we go. And then wraps all the way around anterior to the front, down into the front of that hip. That's important because it attaches to more muscles than any other muscle in your body. So it's going it, to, basically, if it's short and tight, it compresses your low back and it hurts. When we go ahead and release this, uh, you essentially are going to hit the other hip flexors also. So you'll get iliacus, you get iliopsoas. You might not get recfem, but we'll show you. Mm -hmm. Any other thoughts? No, um, I know for myself having a torn disc L5S1, um, this muscle being released has given me the most relief. Mm -hmm. Cool. What do you think we should use? I'm, I'm going with the coconut milk for this one to get into the hip. Okay, <laughs> so let's the coconut milk. So yeah. it's hard. It's hard. And it's um, definitely pretty much pretty wide. So um, the placement's going to be important here. Yeah. 
we could use one. the tempo here, but I actually like that we can tip it vertically a little bit so it sits right into the hip. Um, what you think, girl? Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and, and display what we would do here. So I like to start with my knees bent and just relax down. And then I'm gonna get it at an angle here. And I'm gonna kind of just dig, find a spot. To find the spot, you can flex a little bit. So flex the upper body, flex that arm forward. And when you feel the muscle contract, you know you're on it. And then I like to take the leg out slowly as I'm doing this, and then slide the heel on the floor all the way down as I'm digging in. So essentially what we're doing is we're getting the muscle short. So that would be bending the knee. You can bring the knee in a little bit too, so you can adduct good. And then head and shoulders up. And you should feel a little ball of muscle popping up into that can. Now, Sarah doesn't have a belly, but I do. So when I do this, I actually have to move my belly out of the way. So that would look like scooping your hand. Um, hey, um, honey, yeah, exactly. So you'd scoop your hand, um, move the can, darling. So Sarah's gonna pretend like she's got um, <laughs> some- Your belly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she doesn't have, she has no, COVID, uh, no COVID-15 there yet. So she would actually scoop the belly out of the way and then put the can in there, good. And then you would hold and go into that range of motion with the leg. So again, I would start flex while I was doing that. And mm -hmm. then extend out. I like to not lift the heel up off the ground, but just keep it sliding along the floor. Yeah. Like to bring it in, adduct a little bit, and then abduct. Knee comes out. The important thing is that that can doesn't pop up. You have to keep pressure in there. A lot of now, pressure. If your foot is going numb or you can't, you know, feel any of your goods, you're going to want to move the can. <laughs> so like, if things get tingly, it's not good. It's not good. good. Shouldn't be cutting off any uh, balls or anything. So you don't want it here. You want it here. Yeah. That's okay. important. So the other way you do this um, is you would flip over onto your belly. Oh Lord, this might be a little painful. <laughs> oh, my Lord, and then you're gonna put the can at a at a um, diagonal. So it's gonna be yep. It's gonna be right. No, I would put it. I would put it flat. Love. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and then dig it down in there. Oh, that's actually great. That is great, you guys. Oh. I like to lay on coconut milk when I am in quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> It makes me feel mothered. You like that by nurturing me to lay on that? Nurtured by like a vegan kind of a nurture. Coconut. <laughs> Nothing animalistic or pr primitive about that. So. No, just super gentle. Yeah. And then if you notice how Sarah's bending and straightening her knee, there you go. And you can kind of move around on that can. Ooh. It's really, it's really, it's really good. You're going to know when you're there. And I'm yeah. kind of right anterior to my hip bone. Whew. That means the front of the hip bone. So she actually is getting funky with that can. For real, your low back is going to release this way. You're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward as hell, but you guys getting the point? Getting the point? Oh, it's really oh. nice. Oh, <laughs> more moans than, you know. If the, if the can bursts open, by the way, <laughs> pressure of your body, don't feel bad. You didn't need that coconut milk anyway. Just drink the milk, put a little whiskey in there. Just drink White it. Russian. White Russian. It's delicious. Made White Russian. You, all you need is the shot glass. You don't need the coconut milk as an additive. Your way. <laughs> okay. Oh okay. Can I get off this? Sorry. Yeah, I think you should probably come up. Things right. are released. Cool. So you would do that with both sides. You can come up on your knees. It was a good one. Oh, do you have a thought about the coconut milk? She, you're just showing. So you would do both of those releases on both sides. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So after this is this is usually the order you want to go in. After you do that, um, I would lay on your back. Good. Extend your legs out. All right, 
And then you're going to take turns squeezing one butt cheek at a time. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you'll just check in with your back. So you squeeze one cheek, release the other cheek, and you go, okay, is my pain less acute? If you're really, really bad, you could bend your knees and do this. Mm -hmm. But ideally, we want to be able to be in full extension with the legs, right? So mm -hmm. you're squeezing, you're checking in, am I okay? If you're okay there, then we can move on to your quad. Mm -hmm. Here's how you would do that. So I would grab uh, probably the kettle one or the whiskey. Perfect. You with me? I'm gonna choose the kettle one because it's a little heavier right now because there's actually liquid in it. The uh, whiskey is gone. So, mm. okay. But you should keep that as a tool. You could fill it with rice or something. So in, in a clinic or in the studio, we would uh, be using a foam roller and there's a million different kinds. Um, you know, if, we'll see if this is slippery. I don't think so because your body weight should, should pin it down into place. But you could always, you know, like duct tape it or something. If you needed to, that would be so like badass apocalypse, just duct taped whiskey body tool. <laughs> so here's, yeah, so Sarah's starting here. She's just um, a rolling pin here, also works, but my friend doesn't have one. <laughs> not a lot of baking is done right now. <laughs> oh, not a Betty Crocker, sorry. Good. <laughs> yeah. So you see, she's actually just digging into there like that. And you want to get the inner thigh too. So there's uh, vastus medialis, which mm -hmm. is that middle part right there. It's right where she's at. So it's still your quad. It's still that upper leg, but it's going to be on the inside. And she's literally just kind of, I would call that like body tampering. I'm going to actually stabilize the outside of the leg with the toilet paper, just FYI, so I so, can get, get in there a little deeper. Yeah. I was telling my friend if that was me, we'd need a, like a couple more rolls. <laughs> <laughs> so you can also use obviously the whiskey bottle. You just need put the whole collection actually under your thigh. <laughs> actually, that looks pretty good, Sarah, with your knee on that. I was just thinking that. And then you can even do a little like extension. I mean, it's a little fancy, but you can get in there and you can do a little. I, you were, I was thinking that you look so fancy right now. <laughs> do I look? <laughs> Keeping it sharp during this time here. Yes. Keeping it fresh, you know? Okay. That's nice. All, All right. right. So you do that. And then we're actually going to treat the sucker like it's a, like it's a roller. So you go back onto your belly. The, the bottle is going to go right sort of below uh, that hip bone, right? So you on, under your belly, my love, your other belly. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to put it. Oh, I get it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Swivel your body like laterally so we can see what you're oh, doing. No. There we go. That's it. Okay. So scoot, scooch back a little bit. Now, um, hold your spot right there. Just hold, hold still. Okay. Um, let as much weight as possible as you can get on there. And then we're going to bend the knee here. Okay. Oh, don't move. No, don't move. Go back. Good. Just bend the knee and hold it and then extend the leg out. And you're going to keep bending and straightening. So hold your spot. Yeah, that bottle's not moving. No. I like it. I got it pinned. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. <laughs> and then you'll keep going down. So then you crawl forward, find another spot, bend and straighten the leg. Okay. All the and, way down to the knee. Yeah. And then, yes, all the way down to the knee. And then... What you could do is go into the lateral border here, which would just be tipping the hips up towards the ceiling a little bit. And you're going to keep bending and straightening, right? Mm-hmm. I like this better than just smashing. We're really not, people get really obsessed with the IT band. That sucker takes like 2,000 pounds to move, so we're not really trying to do that as much as we're trying to get some of these quad um, structures unstuck to each other. That's what we're trying to do, and that's where you're going to get more movement. And then you could go into the medial border too by twisting further down towards the floor. And this one's actually really nice if you just let your leg weight go go on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the way up to the inner thigh. That's. 
<laughs> no, it's important. It's important. It's going to get tight there. I like to keep my liquor. <laughs> snorting i know but it's gnarly right okay it's, it's gnarly like when you get up there Woo. shit's tight get it right get it tight <laughs> what? mine's not tight <laughs> <laughs> okay so come on off of that okay it's probably a good idea all right and then you're gonna check in with your back again so you would do both sides at home you do both sides at home right would you want to fire the hamstrings after to get yep. a little yep that's okay. right okay. Yep, here we go. So I'm gonna do a little something else. Put my heel on the roller, and I'm gonna roll on in. Use my hamstrings here. I'm gonna roll on in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we thought this through. <laughs> this is not a drill we've maybe given anyone in clinic yet, but. Just, pull, just uh, yeah, okay, so you can do that. Or, <laughs> yeah. Can we yeah. Work? yeah, basically you want to fire the hamstrings and the glute again and check back in with your back. So there you go. Okay. So you should check back in. How am I doing? This is after you do all of that to both legs. Okay. How you doing, Sarah? You good? I'm, I'm good. No one needs any more Pilates. We're good. good. Wait, wait, pause, pause, pause. I just want to, we're going to do an interlude. This is a position where you might want to grab that frozen mug and put it underneath your low, low back. Okay. There we go. Okay. So really, really low, like really low, right? Right? Basically like on, on the top of your crack. On the top of your crack. Okay. So find yeah. your crack and then put find it. And then, yeah. And that should get your S1 and you just ice it there. Wow. Yeah. It really does. And then relax your ribs down, Sarah. Just, yeah, just there we go. Mm. Okay. Bliss. That should feel kind of, yeah, kind of good. Make sure you put that coffee mug in there horizontally. Don't actually put it in your crack. People, people. <laughs> I've seen some freezing stuff. cold, so you know. Hmm? I don't know. Whatever, you know, whatever you're into. Whatever works, though, because that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Okay. So, um, now from here, we're going to grab, um, where's our two? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I remember Sarah, put that back and then you also grab the toilet paper and you're going to put it underneath your neck. And I'm, this is actually legit. We're going to talk through this. So, <clears throat> that, so put it under your neck, Sarah. Yeah. So that you're, yeah. Yep. Okay. So that actually probably feels pretty amazing, huh? Feels amazing. Yeah. Okay, so what this is actually doing um, is it's tractioning your whole spine. So you're in this, this sling position like this. The ice is just going to feel good. But when you do that, you're going to create some room in between some vertebrae that are not making discs very happy. So if you have a pathology, uh, which would be like a tear, like a bulge, like a herniation, like degeneration, arthritis, any of that, um, there's not a lot of, of, uh, pathology where we want to avoid this kind of, uh, a stretch. So this, if you're really, really hot and you can't do any of the release work we just showed you literally lay like this, the toilet paper roll is actually the perfect, um, size to give a lot of support to that neck, give it a natural extension, which normally we lose when we're doing a lot of this, when we're computering all day. Mm -hmm. Um, Right? Can you feel that, Sarah? A lot. Yeah. 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 Any other thoughts to this one? Just that I'm already defrosting the coffee, but it will feel really good. It'll feel really, really good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, not so this would be, um, yeah, how, how you how you do that. And just laying like that, I mean, like, I want to go do this right now. I'd feel really cozy. And you could lay here for like 20 minutes. You could put your knees up if you want. Um, but these are, that looks nice. Yeah, that looks nice. Cool. That is really nice. Okay, so let's come on off of that. Okay. She's like, I don't want to. Okay, and then um, we're gonna get the can again. Yeah, and we're gonna release the uh, piriformis and the, oh. the lateral lateral flexors in the hip. So this is another group of muscles that um, when it gets tight. 
we can experience a lot of back pain, right? This is where our sciatica comes from, right? Things like that. Usually, usually this is a part of where that comes from. Okay. So with this, what I would do is actually come up into seated. Okay. Okay. You're going to put that can, um, Sarah, go ahead and put it under your, your cheek there. Okay. Yep. Just like that. And then you're going to kind of hop up on it. Okay. Woo. Reach back a little bit. So you're right on there. Okay. There we go. So everyone can see. Now bring your heel closer towards your butt. Good. Now you're going to drop the knee out to the side. Oh yeah. And then bring it in. Okay. And this is right on my piriformis. So almost towards the midline um, and a little bit on the lateral flexors as well. Sorry, the lateral. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Now it's on. You're going to get a little bit of glute meat here too. Yeah. Good. And the higher you roll it, you can get into that glute meat. So don't be afraid to move it around a little. Woo. That is awesome. Yeah. And so this one, you really spend some time getting that into different spots on your butt. So here's the other part of this. Um, Sarah, bring your knee together and then put the can more like close to your sits bone. Okay. So now we're gonna be kind of right on the, on the butt bone there and you can uh, flip the can the other way, babe. Okay. Okay, there we go. All right. Now you can sit up a little higher on this one. You should feel that right away. We're gonna go with fiber direction here. So you're gonna extend your leg out this time, right? Yeah. Bring it in. Yeah. That feels awesome. Okay. And it's almost on the lateral border of my sit bone, kind of heading towards the obturators. So in um, in uh, human, outside of your butt bone, sort of towards the uh, muscles that we just released. Mm. Obturators are in with the flexor group there. She means in the deep side of your booty. <laughs> yes. The deep booty. The deep booty. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Woo. That's nice. Good. And you then this one. <laughs> you well, can actually do that with frozen with the with the mug too, but I actually think the can's a, a good size for that. Yeah. Um and then what I would do is I would come off this if we're talking about um, uh, back pain and um, finish this up with probably some really small uh, bits of core work. Do you have any other, do you have any thoughts? Ah, okay. Um, yes. So even just coming into, can you see me? Okay. Mm -hmm. so tabletop knees 90, 90 or a little past 90 and just lifting up. So about here and slowly lowering down. If you want to add a leg tap, you can do that as well. Just a heel tap. Mm -hmm. If that was too challenging for you, you could do this one leg at a time. So you could put one foot down, right? Good. And just keep the head down if you want. You keep the head down. And then actually, Sarah, like show them just keeping like your one foot totally on the ground. There you go. Okay. So you could do it from there too. Yeah. If, it, if the back in. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And I think lastly, everybody's probably wondering what the knife is for. Um, so we, <laughs> well, the other right. part, <clears throat> yeah, I don't want to get too um, complicated there with this, but um, I want to talk about feet for a minute because they have to do, uh, how, how you plant yourself in space really affects, um, right, our gait and our movement there, how you push off really affects um, uh, back pain and function. And uh, we have been known to use these uh, in the clinic I have and just in giving people homework. Um, if you use the bottom part of the knife, we use it for something called, um, essentially a Graston ish technique. So we're not doing Graston. There's a course called Graston, but what we're doing is releasing that sort of first layer of uh, fibrous tissue or fascio, fascial tissue. 
Uh, any thoughts about that? Um, if you need lotion, use lotion for this. I, I don't prefer it, so I'll show you without it. Um, and just be very mindful of not going directly onto the bones, but more like the cartilaginous tissue around it. So yeah. I'm gonna tilt this down so you can see. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm rolling around on that vodka. So it is wild. Show um, Sarah would be. Uh, let's do like FHL. Okay. Okay. So the big toe muscle. We're trying to use um, terms that aren't that aren't too intense. Here, scoot scoot your foot back a little bit, baby. Okay. There you go. Okay. A little bit more. There we go. Okay. So that big toe muscle push off has a lot to do with correct posture and getting your glutes and core to fire appropriately. So if you point, Sarah, point to like the whole, yeah, so there's a big toe and then that's, show where, show us where it goes. Yeah. Okay. So you're just going to take your butter knife, you can use lotion or not, and you're going to go ahead and start to work that tissue. So I have not met a human in the universe that's not very tight here. So if you see, she's just digging that in there. Ooh. We're kind of right along the tibia. The shin. Yeah, the shin bone, my bad, shin bone. My little, little Dr. Sarah. <laughs> Dr. Sarah with the butter knife, yes. Mm -hmm. It's intense. <laughs> it's learning plants. Mm -hmm. It's intense like butter. So we go like this, and I'm just taking my toe kind of wet. As I dig in, I'm flexing the toe, and then as I get my pressure in my direction, I'm extending the toe. A little easier if someone helps you with it too, but. Normally that would be me. Yes. My girl, I know. So if you see the bottom of her foot, you can see that pull, you want that. And I'm just working all the way up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. And then we would do the bottom of the foot too. Okay. Okay. You're going to take that, this one, um, you, it's the same thing. You want to move your toes. You're just going to find a spot, um, in the plantar fascia. So the, yep. Yeah, just find that spot. And actually there, Sarah, I would just, um, kind of just scrape. I would just scrape. Okay. Mm -hmm. Woo. So you do it like that. Or you can, you know, get closer to the tip of the the end, the end of the knife there. Yep, yep. <laughs> you might have to play around with which knife you use because some of them may be more scrapey than others. It's probably a spoon here. And then Sarah, hold your spot and start to extend that big toe. So you'd find a spot. Mm -hmm. And really what we're trying to do is just stretch. There we go. That's, yeah. That's actually really good. <clears throat> oh, good. <laughs> that actually did work. Oh, good. <laughs> Fantastic. And I'm kind of going at an angle here, not just shoving directly into my foot. Mm -hmm. This is something, guys, uh, for all of our essential workers out there, this whole video is something I would just do. You know, the whole thing. Yeah, there you go, girl. That, that last one by the med head was money. There you go. Yeah. And just a side note, this can be done on the hand as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll put that one up there. So this would be treating broadly low back pain, this this um, segment. Mm-hmm. Good yeah. point. <clears throat> but yeah, we'll do we'll do like a carpal tunnel one for sure. All right. All right. <laughs> Scrape all that off. <laughs> I can't see your beautiful little face. Oh yeah, sorry. So, so that's a good like at home exfoliating too. You know, you just getting, <laughs> yeah. getting, getting the getting the foot to look a little better there. Yeah. So let's show our tools again. Okay. So I'm gonna show all the tools again. I'm gonna have them right in front of me for a second. So we have the frozen mug with ice in it, um, the kettle one with vodka in it, and then <laughs> we have the empty but you can always fill it with rice um, whiskey 
um, or take shots while you're doing it. And yep. I have the, um, the, the, I've definitely annihilated this, so you will too. And then this knife. And our, and our coconut milk is hiding. She's hiding back there. Oh, yes. And our coconut yeah. milk. <laughs> so the, the whiskey bottle, we didn't use in this one, but the if um, you are basically like larger than Sarah, you, you probably would opt for that for the quad exercises that we were doing for the release there um because it's a little bigger right so my lovely partner sonia did say that there is a large costco size whiskey available is there not son you have it in my kitchen <laughs> how many ounces is that i don't know but it definitely looks like four of those <laughs> okay so, so it's four of these so get yourself to costco but in the early morning you know <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> with the math lots of very far away yeah all right good we're good. <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed a little entertainment, if nothing else, and we'll have yeah. more to come. That was good. More to come. We're going to do Carpal Tunnel next time. Yes. All right. <laughs> Bye.